Welcome in the vibrant port of North Sea port. We are a cross-border port between the city of Ghent in Flanders and the city of Flushing in the Netherlands. We have a turnover of about 70 million tons of marine goods coming in and out of the port and that makes us one of the top 10 ports in Europe. Uh, reducing our climate impacts is in our port strategy which stretches now uh, up to 2025 but we have ambitions up to 2030 and 2050. Being climate neutral in 2050 makes that we have eight programs in our strategy uh, and amongst others there are climate, energy and circularity. What we see is that uh, industrial companies are focusing in their sector on their product and are not really aware of the EU ETS revision. Shipping companies instead, they, they are. They are aware um, as of 2024, EU ETS is coming into place. So uh, they, they inform their industrial clients in our port that this is coming. Um, with the idea that working together um, can lead to the uptake of sustainable fuels, of electrification, in order that transport can become more sustainable and prices can, uh, can stay competitive. In my opinion, a port authority should not act on its own. Um, we operate in a network with other ports, we operate in a context of Europe and we inter uh, interact with the world. So we are very grateful that Europe is taking action in the Fit for 55 package and amongst others the uh, AU ETS revision. Um, and in my opinion, I've been working for the Port Authority for more than 10 years and this is the moment. Um, all uh, stakeholders, which we call partners, we bring them together and we see that things are happening, that uh, uh, up towards 2030 we can uh, start a project and really start this transition. Although the ETS revisions have only been voted very recently, they are already now having an effect on the field. We see that in the example of North Sea Port, where now they are having discussions with, for instance, shipping companies, which probably would not have been taken place uh, in the same way in the past. Um, and, and companies are clearly thinking about how to decarbonize how to perhaps make investments in the future. We see that in the shipping uh, sector. I think that port companies have the possibility to be ambitious. A North Sea port is saying that they want to be ambitious, but we want to see uh, the, the acts. They should act according to these ambitions. And uh, they should be more ambitious, for instance, than the Flemish government, which is really lagging behind in this respect. Thanks to the European Emissions Trading System, a lot of progress has been made recently to reduce greenhouse gas emissions coming from the power sector. However, in industrial sectors, especially steel, chemical and cement industries, a lot of work is still needed because their emissions are not going down, unfortunately. As the examples from Belgium show, uh, the solutions are available, innovative technologies are available to industrial sectors but they will need to be scaled up and they do deserve public support as well. This is where ETS auctioning revenues can come in to help support that transition. We need to stop handing out free emission allowances for free and, in, and at the same time start investing in solutions for the future.